Hello my students and viewers at home. You are welcome to today's online teaching. I am Oyane Helen from Biology Department and we are going to take Biology with a topic presentation. We filter flour and my colleague filter pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma and after that fertilization takes place in the ovary. Now after the fertilization you now have the ovary forming the fruits and the, the ovule forms the seed. But before I go on with the lesson, we have to look at the specific objective. By the end of the lesson, the students will be able to define placentation, list types of placentation, and draw diagrams illustrating types of placentation. Now, let's come to the lesson proper. Placentation is the arrangement of the ovules within the ovary. The ovules are the seed, while the ovary is the fruit. Now, the part of the ovary where the ovules are attached is called the placenta. If you can remember, even in humans, even in animals, we have placenta. And the placenta is a point of attachment from the mother, in the, uh, the uterine wall of the mother to the that of the embryo through the umbilical cord. So the same thing is equally applicable to the, to the fruits. Now, coming to the types of placentation, we have up to six different types of placentation. One, we have marginal placentation. In marginal placentation, you can see the ovules are arranged along one edge of the ovary. The ovules are arranged along one edge of the ovary. We have examples as in cassia and the cowpea. Cowpea is the beans. Now the cassia there, you can see the illustration there on the screen. The ovules, which are the seeds, are just are, are, are arranged marginally, meaning they are lengthwise, they are not double. And the, the legume has sutures, which enables them to open on the both sides. So that is marginal placentation. And to draw it, you draw the diagram on the left-hand side. That's the one you'll be able to draw. The other one, Kasia, is illustrating a kind of a, a, a plant whereby it is uh, applicable. Now we have the second one, which is parietal placentation. In parietal placentation, you can see the ovules arranged in several lines on the ovary wall. The ovules are arranged on several lines on the ovary wall. Example is purple. Yes, but in drawing the diagram, you draw the one that is circled at the um, left-hand side. But you can see the longitudinal section of um, purple, length, lengthwise, yes, that's the one, the one being circled, that's the a longitudinal section of purple. And the other one, you can see the, how the, the seats are arranged on the walls of the, of the um, ovary. Now, the one being circled now is the transverse section, the transverse section of the purple. You can see that it is the same shape with the one that you're supposed to draw. That's the one that will enable you to, you'll be able to draw. Yes, and that is perietal. The wall, the ovules are arranged on several lines along the ovary wall. Example, typical example is that of a purple. Purple we eat. Then we have the third one, which is a axial placentation. In axial placentation, you have the ovules, and you remember when I say ovules, I'm talking about the seeds. The ovules are on the central column of the ovary. The ovules are on the central column of the ovary, which is the what? Which is the fruit. Now we have example as say, in tomato, guava, or orange. Now you have. The very first one is the one you'll be able to draw manually. You see, you can see the ovules, the seeds 
surrounding the central axis yes yes very good and you see the ovals there and the column inside is a yes that one is a, what the central column okay good now this particular one the pointer is on now is a longitudinal section of a tomato the longitudinal section it, you see it is lengthwise it doesn't show the exactly what is shown on the left hand side now you can see yes you can see that one on the right hand side which is a transverse section of tomato the tomato we still talking about you can see that it has the same shape with that of that one you're supposed to draw now you see the central column and you can see the seats arranged within the words within the placenta good now the other one is the orange orange yes that's the orange that is the other one is transversely cut the one that is open you can see this displacement the arrangement of the seats within that uh, the 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 old uh, within the orange and that is what you are talking about that is the placentation placentation is the arrangement of the seats within the what within the fruits okay the third next one which is the fourth one is the free central placentation in free central placentation you have the ovules attached to a knob which projects from the base of the ovary the seeds which are the ovules are attached to a knob which projects from the base of the ovary we have example as in a canna lily flower or cocoa or sunflower the uh, the right hand side diagram is a typical diagram that you should draw now this one the pointer is on now is cocoa the cocoa that we use in making our beverages you can see the length it is cut that is the longitudinal section of it you can see the arrangement of the seeds inside now in the very right hand side is still the longitudinal section but on the upper part yes the one the pointer is showing now is the transverse section and you can see that the transverse section resemble the transverse section of the one at the left good so that's the free central placentation so fifth one is the basal placentation in this basal placentation you will have a single ovule or seed attached at the base or bottom of the fruit you see where the pointer is you see the seed they're very good attached to the bottom you see that point of attachment yes that is the um, basal placentation and that's the uh, fruit that uh, that actually shows it you see where the pointer is that arrow that's the seed eh? towards the base and the fruit is uh, covering the seed okay yes that's the fruit and the fruit that is at uh, the height that is called a uh, cut yes that is seed within the fruit yes you can see it towards the bottom at the base go that's the base surplus incision the seed is based on the bottom or placed at the bottom now we have the very last one which is a um, apical placentation apical placentation is somehow vice opposite to that of a basal the apical is placed at the apex that is the tip hmm? the ovules are placed at, or attached at the top or tip or of the ovary as the seeds are placed at the tip or top of the what of the fruit we have example as in red pepper or green pepper we used to see green pepper and we use them at home when you cut you can see the diagram there the one the point i is showing is the one you can draw you'll be able to draw it now you can see the second one the second diagram at enter that's the red pepper you see this where the seeds are yes 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 good that's towards the tip and you can equally see it at the green pepper that's where you have the seeds attached to the tip you see you can notice that nothing is at the base so that is what apical placentation as you can see now this is a very short topic and that is how it is in your scheme of work sx2 biology i'll have a recap a summary of what i've 
set so far. The placentation is the arrangement of seeds in the fruits, hmm? which means arrangement of ovules, the way ovules are arranged, the way ovules are displaced, are placed in the ovary. And you remember that when we talk about fertilization of plants or flower, that the, after the fertilization and formation of fruits, the ovules form the seed and the ov ovary forms the fruits. Now, the arrangement of these seeds in the ovary is what is called placentation. And we have various types. You used to eat fruits, lots of fruits. And when you cut open the fruits, you used to see how the seeds are arranged in them. And that is simply the placentation we are talking about. And types of this placentation include axial placentation, which you can see uh, in, um, in a tomato and orange. Then we equally have marginal placentation, which you can see in cowpea or cassia. Then we have parietal, which is very common in purple. Then you have, um, uh, uh, um, um, what do you call it, apico, which you can see in uh, red pepper and uh, uh, green pepper. Then you have um, basal, which is somehow opposite to apico, which in implies the seed being uh, implanted at the base of the fruit. So based on this, I want and I have to evaluate you on the following questions. We have num number one, what is placentation? Number two, list types of placentation with examples. Then three, explain any three types of placentation. Thank you. Thank you.